Okay. Good evening, good evening everybody. Uh, I'd like to start this meeting. It's Wednesday, March 30th. The time is 6.35. I'd like to call this regular town board meeting to order by first standing and saying a pledge to the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, are there any public comments or questions on the agenda items only? If you do, you may approach the podium. My name is Charlie Quimby, 81 Cricket Hill Road, Dover Plains. Uh, dear Supervisor Yeno, board members, I commend you for taking appropriate action on proposing a townwide moratorium on solar facilities. It is my understanding that this will impact large scale commercial solar facilities that are popping up around town and not affect residential or site specific uses like on farms, businesses, or commercial buildings. Many of the large scale facilities that have been constructed are in inappropriate locations and gener generally look carelessly built with inadequate screening by trees, shrubs, or fencing. I agree with the board that the town codes need to be updated to properly regulate these commercial solar facilities. The last time the codes were updated, the concept of solar did not exist. I am not speaking in opposition, opposition to solar, and I agree that the codes <coughs> need to catch up to reflect the current energy uses. I strongly believe that this moratorium should be expanded to include all utility infrastructure. It does not make sense to single out solar when the town's reasons for imposing a solar moratorium also apply to all utility infrastructure. We have an infrastructure crisis in this town. In my opinion, the town is at a breaking point, a point of no return. If more of these facilities are built, more will come. It's quite easy to see, and it's already happening. One facility opens the door for the next. Decades ago, the Iroquois pipeline was installed, followed by the Con Edison high voltage lines and the Iroquois transmission center, all paving the way for the next round of devastation that is occurring today. Now we have Cricket Valley, which has cleared the path for Transco and the expansion of the Iroquois facility, which will more than double its output when completed. And there are talks of a hydrogen facility. Maybe some lessons were learned from Cricket Valley, but as a town, we must be more discriminating. People talk about the tax benefits from these facilities, but let's take Cricket Valley as an example. The pilot program, payment in lieu of taxes, was one of the biggest giveaways in the history of the county, possibly the state. We did not get a fair deal. The big utility conglomerates won and we lost, again. This type of utility infrastructure development is not a way forward to long-term sustainable and equitable growth. It discourages the right kind of development and investment that our town needs and would benefit from most. A supermarket, a medical center, recreational facilities, distribution centers, manufacturing, et cetera. These are things that would increase the number of local jobs, tax revenue, property values, quality of life for residents, and the appeal and desirability of our area. In addition, it would have a positive effect on existing local businesses. It's a snowball effect in a positive sense. We all must be rigorous. We all must rigorously protect the town, its residents, and its natural assets to ensure a safe and prosperous future for the next generations. 
I believe that while many people in this room may have contrasting opinions and varying beliefs, at the end of the day, all we want is the best for the town. When needed, the town must use the secret rules to our advantage, apply the more rigorous type one criteria, take the lead agency role, hire experts, ask the tough questions. In closing, these facilities leave a permanent scar on the beauty of this town and have a permanent adverse, fin have permanent adva adverse financial repercussions for residents and the town as a whole. It hurts the town's appeal and desirability and discourages future investment. Thank you for your time and consideration. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, give it to the clerk, please. <clears throat> Any other comments or questions on agenda items only? Go ahead, ma'am. Good evening, um, Holly Marcy, Cricket Hill Road. I see on the um, <coughs> proposal that you're going to stop any improvements to the existing solar um, installations. My concern is the one that's on Route 22 with the dead trees that are there. That just looks terrible. Mm -hmm. Are they required to replace those trees or will they be allowed to replace them to fix that eyesore? And they are definitely allowed to replace them. Are they required For me to? to answer the other part of your question, I'd have to research to what was approved years ago. Okay. I so, honestly can't answer that question right now, but I can get back to you, and that's my word to you. Okay, great. Thanks. They would be allowed to do that even with the moratorium, or would they have to wait the 180 days? Council. This moratorium would be for new solar project that's an existing solar project that that's a site plan a so not planning an board yeah okay great thank just you just for construction thank you tom anybody else on any comments questions on agenda items only seeing no one else approaching the podium next on the agenda is a public hearing this public hearing is proposed for local law number one of 2022 to impose a temporary townwide moratorium on commercial solar system development. Solar development is the topic of the conversation. No other hearsays of possible other power plants, which Mr. Quimby mentioned. This public hearing is on the solar development and the solar only. Okay, at this time, I'll let, make the motion to enter into public hearing. Second. Motion's been made and seconded by Deputy Supervisor House. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed to entering the public hearing? Public hearing is now open. <clears throat> First on the list, Ryan Cortine. Planning Board Chairman. I'm sorry, sir. That's fine. Thank you, Supervisor Gino yeah, yeah. and members of the Town Board. Um, so, Ryan Cortine uh, here in my role as the uh, Town's Over Planning Board Chair. So, uh, presently, uh, there are uh, three projects before the Town's Over Planning Board that um, have uh, some solar aspects to them. One is uh, known as Poplar Hill Solar. Uh, it's um, north of the intersection with uh, Lime Kiln, Poplar Hill. Um, to the east of um, the Poplar Hill Road. Uh, then there's a uh, Wingdale um, Solar, which is a proposal for a property that's behind uh, Wingdale Elementary, uh, that uh, the property board is both uh, Route 55 and Route 22. Uh, and then third, which is not, it's not really a solar project, but it does have a solar aspect to it, is uh, the Harlem Valley Homestead project. Um, they're looking to put solar um, over their parking, uh, some of their parking area. So um, in all likelihood, uh, that would be, you know, another solar um, part of the uh, of, um, project. So uh, my reading of the local law is that uh, those uh, applications can continue to move forward. Uh, if I'm reading Section 3C correctly, 
the moratorium shall apply to all future applications for the installation of such solar energy systems. Um, and then additionally, you haven't passed the local law yet, so it's possible someone just submitted an application for solar to our secretary. Uh, so there might be something else that we're unaware of. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess, as, you know, as, as soon as you uh, adopt this local law, then uh, the moratorium go into effect for any future uh, applications. Correct? Okay. So, um, again, I'm not um, making any comment as to the local law itself. I'm just making the, the town board and the public aware of the really two solar farms as would um, be characterized in the law. And then also, um, again, the solar aspect of Arm Valley Homestead. Two, and as ver two, ver two versions are a solar farm, and the other one would help to try to help the homestead electrically. Correct? Right, yeah, they have solar over their parking area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Again, as the local law is currently written, um, again, I don't know if you're going to be considering any uh, amendments to the... Yeah, so, so the way the process works is obviously tonight's a public hearing to right. take public comment. Um, it's a proposed local law. There will be, a, uh, I assume, a closing of the public hearing. At that point, uh, the town board will uh, make a motion pursuant to uh, Section 239 of the General Municipal Law to refer the proposed local law to Dutchess County Planning uh, for their comment, which is required, and as a courtesy to the, Dutchess, uh, to the Town of Dover Planning Board for their formal review, and uh, they'll have time to comment. So as uh, you know from your former Days of Supervisor, this is a proposed right now. The final um, draft of the local law will be ultimately voted on by the town board. I can't say that it will be exactly word for word verbatim right. based on potential comment from the planning board, the public, or the uh, Dutchess County uh, planning. Right. Uh, there could be some modifications okay. to it. And um, I mean, we uh, do have a planning board meeting uh, coming up, so certainly could be added to the discussion at our, on our agenda uh, first Monday of... Uh, After the closing of month. the public hearing, I'll be making a motion. Okay. That includes the planning board. Um, and then does, uh, just remind me, Dutchess County Planning have 30 days to respond? So? Yes, they've... Uh, there's been several other towns recently passed these type of moratoriums, and from past experience, Dutchess County Planning, I don't want to speak for them, has found this type of action to be one of local interest. Right. So um, they don't really get involved, um, and they usually make a determination fairly quickly because they're not formally sending suggestions, but right. technically 30 days. Right. Okay. So presumably the town board is not going to be voting on this until you're meeting a month from now or maybe even two months from now. Possibly. Just because of that time frame of the Dutch mm -hmm. County Planning. Right. Okay. Ryan, right, thank just, you. Ryan, just a quick question. Yeah. Uh, Harlem Valley Homestead, is that falling under commercial or agricultural? Um, well, that's a good question. <laughs> um, there's certainly agricultural aspects to the project, uh, but there's also certainly commercial aspects of the project. Um, so, again, as the law is presently written, since they already have proposed um, solar as part of their project, mm -hmm. I would think that the moratorium would not apply to what they're looking to do. And again, it's, it's, um, it's not a major part of their project. I think they're, my understanding is that it's just over certain parts of their parking area, they're looking to have solar panels, uh, you know, as a way to um, shield the vehicles from rain and sun and also just use the space for green energy. So um, yeah, again, I just brought it, I brought it up as a, it's not just solar farms. There's other, yeah. you know, there's other aspects to the local law. So. Understood. Anything else? Thank you. Anything okay. else for Ryan? Thank you. Thank you. Next on the list to speak would be uh, our county legislator, Alan Sermon. Uh, thank you, Supervisor Yano and the town board. I, I had originally planned on a wider uh, uh, discussion about uh, some of the projects, as Mr. Quimby mentioned, I, I did sign on to that change.org, but, but right now in the strict context of uh, solar facilities, uh, that would be inappropriate tonight. So if indeed there is a, an application uh, in any kind of disposition in terms of Cricket Valley switching to hydrogen fuel, then I'd have a lot more to say in that matter. And thank you. At this time, we have no application on our table. No. Nope. Thank you, Alan. Uh, next on the list is, uh, is it Charles or Charlie? 
Charlie Quimby. You're you're good. You're okay. Thank you. Miss Jennifer Lazaro, is that right? Okay. Good evening, everybody. This is my first town meeting, so I'm really new to this whole um, experience. Um, I clearly understand what you had mentioned about tonight being uh, solely focusing on the solar moratorium. So my question is, because I don't have a lot of background in this area, um, is this hearing an opportunity where we can um, potentially increase the scope of this law, or is this pretty much a closed law, this is what we're proposing, you're proposing, and then we'd have to examine, uh, you know, proposing another a law for the other energy infrastructure projects that are either in the works or the chatter in the community. Do, do, I, do I make that clear? No, you're, you're clear. Okay. Tonight, tonight's conversation is the moratorium on the solar projects. Mm -hmm. Other projects throughout this town can be talked about in a public comment session. Okay. Okay, but this, this public hearing right here mm -hmm. is solely set for the moratorium on, mm -hmm. the, on the solar projects so we can get zoning straight, mm -hmm. zoning in place for those type of projects. Okay. We learned our lesson as the other one that was brought up, the first one. Okay. We learned our lesson on that one. The first solar project? We're going to okay. correct it. Okay, great. And so, we want it to be right and we mm -hmm. want it to be done right. Okay. And it's taking off right now, so clean energy is big. Right. And as our council had, you know, said earlier, Mm -hmm. It's a hot topic right now, mm -hmm. and we felt we needed to do this in order to get our feet under us in our zoning laws mm -hmm. for this type of project, and that is what tonight is for. Excellent. Okay. So then during um, a future um, public comment section, would that be the appropriate place to voice my opinion on um, considering a moratorium for other energy infrastructure projects? Okay. Thank you very much for explaining that. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions on the projects that are on the desk on the table now with the planning board, they, they will be coming up on, Ryan, time frame for public sessions on the other ones? A couple months, if I may ask you. Uh, yes. So, um, so uh, the um, opportunity for the public to speak at planning board meetings is uh, limited to when we have public hearings Correct. ourselves on those projects. So, and the public uh, hearings only come up when the application comes, comes back to us. So we don't... Um, we don't just have a public hearing on um, what you might think of as a hot topic. You know, it has to be that they have submitted their application, and then we review the application, and then they usually go back and they make adjustments, and then the application comes back to us and our consultants and, and, the, t and the planning board review it some more. And then we, re we make a determination at, at that point that um, the, the application uh, seems complete enough for the public to try and wrap its hands and head around, around it, and then, you know, give us the valuable um, valuable uh, public input Thank you. Okay. yeah well, so. my, um, so you just, I mean but it, so like you know for instance any other projects solar or otherwise it might be a few months before Correct. anything you might be interested in talking with the planning board coming back to us and then us setting a public hearing for a meeting you know, uh, you know all, one or two meetings all after public that. hearings will be announced and scheduled yeah. and put out to the public but yeah we definitely when it comes up we definitely want to hear from you so. thank, thank you thank <laughs> Ms. Holly Morrissey? Oh, I, I'm done. You're good? Okay. You. Randy Benson. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Supervisor and uh, members of the town board. I just want to say thank you for everything you do in our town. I do appreciate it. And it's not unnoticed what you do. Thank you. Um, I do want to make a voice about this moratorium, and I do hope that uh, you do make the right decision to look at this because, as you have said, you answered my question right away. Um, we have an eyesore in town, and we don't want to see that. We don't want to see it going any farther. So um, my voice is saying it for everybody that's on, on my road, on Cricket Hill Road, as well as many in the town that, Something has to be done. So to look at the zoning and look what we can do to make this town go forward and to make it 
the town of Dover. So thank you, and I just wanted to make my voice heard. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Mr. Philip ben B Van Buren. Uh, hello, good evening. Um, I, uh, I guess I just wanted to express my shared concern with many people here um, about uh, power facilities in town, including the solar power facilities that are, uh, have a blighting effect on the town um, that uh, create the impression of Dover as the dumping ground for other people's unwanted facilities and um, the uh, negative effect that that has on other possibilities for economic development in Dover. Um, so I think you're referring this to the be looked at from a zoning point of view is a good step and I support that. Um, but I think in that zoning context, uh, really this question about trying to undo blighting influences already present in Dover and preventing future ones is an important goal. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all I have on the list. Is there anybody else that would like to make a comment or ask a question? Go ahead. Can you please approach the podium? Yep. Um, hi, my name is Jane Mullen. I'm relatively new to the area. I have a house in Wingdale. Uh, I've been there for eight years. When I moved in, I didn't know anything about Cricket Valley. And One second, I'm sorry. Can you just pull the microphone a little closer to you? It's hard to hear off. you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No. Uh, so at any rate, I didn't know about Cricket Valley, and <clears throat> I know that it's about solar, but my, uh, I came because it's a public hearing, and I don't know the, the gist. Now I get it. But I would really appreciate if there was more um, information about when these public hearings take place, because, um, you know, I, I received an email to inform me about the, the public hearing, and I didn't know anything about it. And, um, so moving forward, I think there may be a lot of people like me that would have a lot to say about it. Okay. And um, I, so I think maybe as, as you could like put get the word out that the, this is available. Public hearings are required to be announced by law in a certain amount of time. Okay, so... And when we do have a public hearing such as this meeting tonight, for example, if we were to have one next month, we would announce that we would have one next month. And where is that announced? Right here, publicly. And then we put it out on our social media and our websites. Mm -hmm. Actually, they're required in the newspaper as well, correct? Yes. 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 Publishing. And they're it also in, in the because town newspaper. I, for one, don't have, I, I have an iPhone. That's why I, how I received an email. Okay. And so I, you know, I'm not on Facebook. I don't, I don't, like, search things. So putting that for me, and I think that there's probably a lot of people in my position that I don't know, like, um, you know, I, I think it's a very important thing, and I, th and I feel like that there wasn't a lot known about it. And I, I, when I found out about Cricket Valley, I researched it myself, and there were minor protests, but, you know, it was like already a done deal. And so I just, um, again, I know, I'm sorry that I know it's about solar, but okay. uh, I, I just, um, I don't know if there's a way that it, the word could get out more. You know, I'm, I'm glad to see so many people here, but I think there's a lot more that would... would I'd feel the way that I feel. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up? Town website. They mentioned you it. mentioned it. Social media. Mentioned okay. It. Yep. Mentioned that. Anybody else that would like to approach the podium and make a comment or ask a question? Any comments from the board? Council, anything to add? No, I would uh, make a motion to close the public hearing, and then once that's accomplished, uh, the Motion to refer okay. uh, pursuant to 239 to uh, get Dutchess County Planning's comments, if any, as well as uh, the Town of Dover Planning Board. All right. Seeing nobody else approaching the podium and no other comments from the town board members, I'll now make a motion to close this public hearing. Second. 
Motions made and seconded by Deputy Supervisor House. All in favor of closing the public hearing? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Public hearing is now closed. Now that the public hearing is now closed, I would like to make a motion pursuant to Municipal Law 239 that we refer this local law to the Dutchess County Planning Department and to the Town of Dover Planning Board. Do I have a second on my motion? Second. Motion's been made and second to do what I expressed pursuant to Law 239 to forward it to Dutchess County Planning for comment and our planning board. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. Thank you very much. I'll now make a second motion that the town board of the town of Dover declares intent to be the lead agency for the seeker on this law. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion made and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Thank you very much. Please. Thank you. Moving forward with our agenda at this point in time, reports from our Recreation Department and Highway Superintendent. Recreation Department, Julie. Hi, I'm Julie Muncy from uh, Dover Recreation. So we just finished up our basketball season. It ran from November until last week. Uh, it was a great season, and we ended up really good. We got pictures. They got trophies. Um, everybody seemed to be happy with everything that happened. Um, we have our Easter egg hunt coming April 16th at 1 p.m. at Boyce Park. We also have a uh, Dover cleanup, which um, is going to happen on uh, April 23rd at 8 a.m. at uh, Boyce Park, meet under the pavilion. Um, volunteers welcome. Uh, students who need community service are more than welcome. They can just either show up or they can call my office at 845-832-9168 and um, I can put them on a list um, and I do double hours for them. It's, you know, it's a lot for them to clean up and everything, uh, the park. Uh, when you get to them, uh, most likely Supervisor Yino will be there and he'll uh, give you all the rules and regulations and make sure everybody stays safe as well as uh, what parts of the town we'd like to do more than others or spread it out as many um, depending on how many volunteers we have. So again, that's uh, April 23rd, 8 a.m. at a Boys Park Pavilion. Uh, we also have a basketball clinic coming up um, the spring break if anybody, any kids want to do that. That story, it's be at the high school gym and that's from 9 to 12, Monday through Thursday. Um, we also have day camp coming up uh, starting July 5th to August 12th. We are taking uh, counselor applications as well as if any kid who is 15 years old um, needs community service, we do a CIT training. Uh, so that will be on September, uh, excuse me, June 27th. Uh, please register ahead of time at our website. Um, they have to take the course in order to be a CIT for, you can do it one week, two week, we prefer two weeks in a row, and you get community service for the class as well as uh, doing day camp. Um, we have our senior program on Mondays and Thursdays from 10.30 to 2.30. Uh, we do, uh, they do arts and crafts, they do games, they play bingo, um, they do a lot of uh, different, they do exercises as well in the morning if anybody's interested, and line dancing is on Mondays from 9.30 to 10.30, and it's at the American Legion Hall in Wingdale. Um, we have a few other things coming up. We have a laser tag coming, and we're sharing it with uh, Kent, Connecticut. So it'll be three weeks at Boyce Park and three weeks at uh, Kent, Connecticut Park. I'll give you more details um, in the next week or so. We also have an axe throwing league, which we're going to be starting soon, um, probably more the end of the month. Um, and we're still getting information on that. So when they give that all to us, uh, we'll put it out there, and it's for d adults only. No kids. <laughs> um, also, one more thing. The parks are opening up. The weather is hopefully becoming more and more nice between J.H. Ketchum Park and Boys Park. Uh, if you're going to be there, please, no dogs um, in the fields, only in the back at Boys Park, um, and they have to be on a leash. Please clean up after yourself. There's plenty of garbage cans, the blue dumpster can garbage cans. For everybody to use, clean up, your, clean up after yourself the bottles, 
masks, if you wear them, um, anything else. Um, also, uh, they're open from dawn to dusk also, and we have porta potties there now. Um, or in at Boys Park, there's porta potties by the baseball field, or you can use the garage during the day. Um, the community room is bathrooms are not open at JH Ketchum right now we have the porta potties open um, they're there as well right now so if you need to if you want to use the track or anything like that okay any other questions I just whispered to deputy supervisor can we get some dog signage at the we, Dover Plains Park yes yeah, uh, you just let me know how you want to word it and we'll yep. do that same there's as down plenty there. of voice so. same as down there Clean up after them. Yep. Yes, please. <laughs> Lucky I had a shovel in my truck the other night. Anybody else? <clears throat> Julie, if anybody has any questions about the students volunteering, they can come see me at school as okay. well. Okay, great. All right, thank you. Thanks, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Highway Superintendent Jason Satori. Thanks. I don't have to introduce myself. Yeah. <laughs> So hopefully winter has ended because in the highway department, we've had just about enough of it. I'm with you. Got a little extra this week on Monday, so had to throw a little salt down because we've started our street sweeping. Uh, for some of you, if you've seen us doing it already in your neighborhood, we might leave your neighborhood and be back to your neighborhood. We've been bouncing around a little, little bit depending on the conditions of the roads and stuff or whatever so we can get... A lot of it done so we will have it completed here in the next couple of weeks so just be patient if you don't see us today or tomorrow you might see us at the end of the week of next week or something like that uh, we also have started spring grading on some of our dirt roads because they took a beating over the winter um, it won't be like a final grading here we're just trying to keep up with it but we're going to start taking care of them a little bit better right now because the frost is out of the roads um, so we can pack them down so it's less likely to have as many bumps or ruts and everything else. Uh, and we will also start doing uh, cleaning of the ditches uh, throughout the entire town. Uh, there's a lot of debris, sticks, branches, and everything else that's fallen down throughout the winter, and we are starting to get a chance to do that. Uh, and that's pretty much it on that. Uh, I'd like to thank my highway team uh, for all their hard work, uh, being out there every day in the cold, uh, working. And to my assistant, Lori Vincent, for everything that she does for the highway department, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Any questions? Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Reports of the supervisor and the town board members. Councilwoman Jackson. Uh, I would first. like. Thank you. Um, the Dover Plains Library Association would like to thank the town for installing the fixtures and the stairwell lighting at the library Legion Hall. And also uh, at the last school board meeting, I heard that there is a Spring Fest coming up on May 14th with a color run. So check the school website for more information about that. That it? Yeah. Thank you. Councilman Maluda. No report at this time. Okay. Councilman Murphy. Um, yeah, just two things. Um, again, you know, I made notice a few months back that the town roads, as Jason is going around, making sure that it's all nice and clean, you know, please don't take the roads for granted and just dump your garbage on those roads. Again, please, I mean, we got garbage dumps on Route 22 to bring that stuff. Do not use the town roads to dump garbage on the roads, please. Um, and then uh, Julie mentioned that we got a couple of good things coming down at the park uh, in the next few months. Everyone in this town should be taking a full advantage of those programs. And if there's a program that's not available, let's talk to each other. Just don't, you know, assume that we're not interested in programs. Bring it to our attention. If you guys think that there's opportunities or programs out there, bring them to us. Let's discuss them. That's what I got. Thank you, Jay. Deputy Supervisor House. Uh, kind of make this quick. Uh, so we had the um, the ribbon cutting and the 5K uh, down at J.H. Ketchum Park um, on the 20th, right? 7th. Right. 20th. 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 Yeah, it was the 20th. Uh, that was a great event. Uh, we had over uh, 90 runners, uh, well over 100 people, and uh, 
just uh, a, a good day for Dover. Uh, just a few kind of uh, people I need to recognize. Uh, John Morris and the Eastern Duchess Roadrunners. Uh, he is kind of the, the brains of the, the whole 5K and kind of uh, handles that aspect of it, uh, the timing and, and all that. And that seems like it would be simple, but there's quite a bit to that. So uh, thank you to John and Holly and uh, those who helped him with that because uh, that, uh, that was a, a really great event that I, I hope that, that we can continue. Uh, the Dover Lions Club, uh, they were... Uh, they were uh, uh, whipping up some shamrock shakes and some fruit cups for runners and and and, and those others that attended uh, for after the run and uh, that was uh, that was a big hit. Uh, people love that, so that uh, that was great. Uh, our constables kind of handled traffic control for for our runners. That that was uh, obviously uh, quite important. So thank you to Brett and uh, his crew for kind of handling that. Uh, we had uh, a few elected officials, our, uh, uh, Brad Kendall, our county clerk, and Sue Serino, our state senator. Uh, town board, of course, uh, were there as well. And uh, our supervisor, Rich, I, I, think you, I walked in, and you were uh, whipping up some shakes there at the end. I had to test. <laughs> I tested a few of them. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and a very, very big thank you to, to Jason Sartori and our highway department. If it wasn't for him, we would have had a hurdle. Uh, of some logs on the, the far corner of the uh, walking track due to some storm damage. Um, I asked for, for him to, uh, to help us move uh, one branch and he cleaned up the whole corner there. So that was, uh, that was uh, very welcome. So thank you for helping us with that. That really kind of cleaned up that whole area. Um, I was in a pinch and needed a, a pile of clay moved, and just by dumb luck, uh, my dear friend Bob Davis was down there in a matter of 10 minutes with his tractor and was able to get that out of the way so we could have our, uh, our finish line for the uh, 5K, so, so we could have that big blow up. Uh, John could set that up, so uh, thanks to Bob as well for kind of bailing me out there. And uh, uh, Brian Kelly and uh, Ryan, I think that you were kind of part of that as well. Um, and helping us get uh, water to the, the bathrooms at the pavilion. So, of course, we, those were operational and, and gym engineering for being down there at 6 o'clock that morning to, to get those all cleaned up for us. And so, uh, a really great day for Dover. Uh, we had um, our local Girl Scouts there, and they were selling a bunch of cookies. Uh, we did go out for some sponsorships, and uh, just very briefly just going to kind of uh, thank them as well. Uh, Bardo Landscaping, Burger Engineering, our Lions Club, uh, our Town Board, Eastern Duchess Roadrunners, uh, Freshco 22 and Freshco Deli, uh, Golden's Bridge Unit Step, which is the WEX, Huffcut Funeral Home, Engineering Cleaning, JLS Electric, Memorial Designs, Northridge Painting, Pelletier Brothers Plumbing and Heating, uh, Rennie Real Estate, RK Roofing, r, r Concrete, Savory Septic Service, Sukup Farms, Taylor Oil, Taylor Propane, Tom Jacobellis, Westchester Mod, we had a, an anonymous donation, and uh, Cord King, uh, Jeff Viola and Sarah. So uh, we just got a lot of support for this, and that was a, a really great day for Dover. And uh, we, we raised uh, over $2,000 uh, that is going to be put into the Dover Lions Club Foundation, uh, which will be a non -for, uh, 501c3 non-for-profit, uh, kind of a, a secondary arm of the Dover Lions Club, which obviously will allow us for uh, uh, a multitude of things, but uh, mostly being able to go after uh, different grant funding and, and stuff of that nature. So it's uh, all great stuff. Um, so thank you. Thank you to everyone that, that was there that day, because that, uh, that was awesome. Um, also, uh, in regards to the uh, Little League field, I, I met with Mr. Adams there, who runs uh, Dover Little League. And uh, we are kind of in the, the works there of uh, trying to kind of rehab uh, the, the, the fields there. Uh, they are they're in tough shape, and uh, winter did them no help, especially with some drainage issues, stuff of that nature. So um, we're, uh, we're kind of in the works there and trying to get those dugouts repainted and, uh, and of course, some, some field maintenance there as well. So uh, all good stuff in the works. Uh, Dina Eno, Dina Eno, big help as well. Thank you, Dina. That's it. I'm good. Thank you. Anybody else? 
Thank you, Andrew. And yes, it was it was a good day. That uh, that facility, that property, the track, which was I'll always say it chosen by the residents of Dover in a survey that we did. It's just a wonderful thing. It's being used. I check on it a few nights a week. I know Andrew and I know Katie does as well. People are using it, and that's that's the best thing I could say is we put something in down there and it's being used and to everybody involved of getting that together over the last couple of years through everything we've all been through it's it's working for us and uh, thank you all very much it was it was a good day uh, the one thing Julie and I I'm sorry if I missed it did you mention an egg hunt mm -hmm. you did mention that okay I was called today and I wanted to be sure all right good uh, Rich I just want to say that they the the track is being used for what the track is being used for as a track. People are out there, they want to get healthy, they want to get, you know, they want to, people want to get out, and that's a good thing. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful facility that we're, that's being created, you know, and uh, it's right next to the river, it's quiet, it's peaceful, and it's, you know, it's a, it's a nice smooth track. So if you haven't seen it, you should get out there and, uh, you know, get, get, some, get some fresh air. Thank you, Jan. Okay, supervisor's report. Um, we mentioned the uh, cleanup on Saturday the 23rd at 8 a.m. down at the rec park. Thank you, Julie. Um, there will be a brief safety meeting. What I do ask, though, is if you do show up and volunteer that you ask you wear some brightly colored clothing, such as the safety green that you see our highway crews wearing in their striping or in their clothing or in their shirts. If you have any of that, it's, it's helpful. It's safe. Um, we will be providing some bags and some latex type gloves that day as we always do. Um, we're hoping to concentrate on our town roads as we're pushing the county to focus on the county roads. Um, they're all terrible. And I will say right now that I have called Welsh I don't know how many times because we know it comes out of the top of their trucks and out of the back of their trucks. So I will say that and I will make it clear right now they've heard from me. Um, but hopefully it'll be a good day um, it's a busy day at the rec park. I believe it's still opening day for Little League, the 23rd. So it'll be a busy day. So hopefully we'll see a lot of volunteers, and I will thank each and every one of you ahead of time in case I don't see you that day. So thank you, and I appreciate the help that you may give. Uh, <clears throat> our planning board, as you've been hearing tonight, our planning board and our zoning boards are very busy. They're handling many projects right now going on in this town, both new projects and old ones that have been on the table for quite a while. I urge each and every one of you to attend the meetings and listen or watch it on our DTV channel 22 or stream it and get the information firsthand. Do not rely on what people will assume or just say on social media. It is not always true. Go to the meetings and listen to the projects and hear the details and just don't, want, don't read what somebody might want to type on social media. If you can't attend the meetings, you can always send a question in. I have never denied answering a question or a phone call. It may not be tonight if you call me today. It may not be tomorrow, but I assure you, our board, our planning boards, and the members of our zoning boards will get back to you. Our secretary will get back to you, or it'll be handed off to the chairs to handle. I'll leave it that at that. Uh, some projects are going on in town, as you can see. Our town, our meeting room, is freshly painted. Our floor is new. I've got to thank the ARP committee, the staff, our town clerk here at town hall, deputy supervisor House, and the rest of the board members for having their input. I think it's it's coming along. It's, it's still a work in project in process, but some things have been hooked up, and uh, hopefully we'll dress this up. This was phase one of the project here. Uh, phase two will be coming in the next few months, and that'll be the common area as you enter the town hall and come down into the lower section where our building department is and where my office and our finance department is and the hallways. And then to finish up that project here at town hall, phase three will be the offices themselves. So hopefully that's the project here. Um, we're working on and making it safer around the building outside when you leave tonight. You can see and appreciate the new lighting that was installed yesterday. Um, we're upgrading the lights to high energy efficient lighting. And uh, I got to thank JLS Electric for that. So that was started. There's still a few things to be done. But uh, we're working. 
we're working for you and we're making things better and safer and hopefully more efficient with that. And Julie answered my Easter egg question. So we are good. Public hearing. Go ahead, say it. So I think the lady in the back who was the last person to come up in the comment, we have information available for all public hearings, agendas, meetings on, a, on the town's website. So all the information for any of the meetings that we have available are always there for you to come and, and download. So it's just a piece of information Show for the you. the website. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I just have to say that I, I, uh, Can I hit this? Aware of that yeah. Okay. Just type in Town of Dover. Here we go. If you look on the screen, the that website. is our website there. Uh -huh. Just type in, just Google Town of Dover, and that's what pops up. Okay. okay. Yeah, all the departments will Everything. be there, and then yep. you can, you can yep. go to any department, and it will tell you the meeting dates and public hearings and past notes and meeting minutes. So all the information is there for you to download. And Would it be possible to put it on the, um, the park um, announcement board or on the fire department announcement board that there's a town board meeting and a date? Are we allowed to use those? Because everybody goes by them. I can speak for the town, the town sign only. We'll talk with Julie and see if we have some time frames where we can do that. <laughs> Sir? What about using the calendar on the site or some kind of email list? I do feel the same as a lot of people here. By the time it gets to a public session, public comment session, it's almost too late for a lot of these projects. And there's just got to be more information out there. What do you mean by too late for the project? Too late. By the time there's a public hearing, it's the You want to approach the podium, please? Go ahead. Approach the podium. Sorry? If you can come Would up you please the approach the podium? So my, my, I'll repeat what I said. Uh, if it's possible to utilize the calendar, because that's one of the first things you see on the website, uh, also an email list of letting people know. Not everyone's monitoring the site. S some people don't have computers or don't, have, don't, don't do email. So getting word out for these things is important because by the time the public comment session comes, a lot of times it seems too late to, to, for the public to have a meaningful impact or meaningful, able to have a meaningful conversation. Because before then, oh, there's no application in front of the board, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if there's a way to be more transparent than, you know, just putting it up on the site, that would, I think, be helpful for a lot of people. Okay, we'll make note. Good. Okay. Resolutions. <clears throat> Resolution to authorize and approve consent agenda items. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Dover does hereby approve the following items for consideration and adoption on the March 30th, 2022 town board regular meeting consent agenda. Authorize the payment of abstract number three of 2022 in the amount of $235,810.36. Accept the minutes of town board meeting of February 23rd, 2022. Approve the town clerk's report for February of 2022. Approve the town supervisor's financial report for February 2022. Authorize budget transfers, budget amendments, and payment of off abstract purchase orders as prepared and submitted by the town's bookkeeper. Accept 20, 2021 GASB 75 actuarial report. Appoint town of Dover planning board member. 
appoint Town of Dover Recreation Commission member. Waive 30-day liquor license notice for La Guadalupana Mini Market and waive 30-day liquor license notice for Kelly's Creamery. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Motion is made by Murphy, seconded by Jackson. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Resolution, the next one. Resolution authorizing the advertisement for requests for proposals, RFPs, for town hall painting projects. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Dover hereby authorize the advertisement for requests for proposals, RFPs, for the town of Dover town hall painting project for phases two and three. And be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Dover does hereby authorize and direct the town clerk to advertise the RFPs for phase two and three of the town hall painting projects in the official newspaper of the town of Dover. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Maluda, seconded by House. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Resolution authorizing the advertisement for bids for construction of a town highway vehicle and equipment storage facility. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Dover does hereby authorize the advertisement for sealed bids pursuant to New York State General Municipal Law for the construction of a town highway department vehicle and equipment storage facility. And be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Dover does hereby authorize and direct the town clerk to advertise for, se advertise for sealed bids for the construction of the vehicle and equipment storage facility in the official newspaper of the town of Dover. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Brought by House, seconded by Jay. Okay. Seconded by Murphy. Any discussion? None. Hmm? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. Resolution authorizing to execute Dutchess County School Bus Safety Program Agreement. Whereas, in accordance with 1174-A of the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law, Dutchess County enacted Local Law No. 1 of 2020, in which Dutchess County established a program to improve monetary liability on owners of vehicles for the future of the driver to comply with 1174 of the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law when meeting a school bus exhibiting a red visual sign and stop cam. And whereas under this program, Dutchess County is authorized to install and operate school bus photo violation monitoring systems on the exterior of school buses owned and operated by school districts within Dutchess County, provided that the school districts individually enter into an agreement with Dutchess County for such installation and operation. And whereas 1174-A also establishes that local municipalities will receive 10% of the revenue generated from the program, which shall be implemented to Bus Patrol America, LLC, which Dutchess County has entered into a contract with. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Dover hereby appoints the town supervisor to acute, execute all necessary and required agreements and paperwork to permit the town of Dover to enter into the Dutchess County School Bus Safety Program. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Jackson, seconded by Murphy. Discussion. Supervisor, there's a typographical error in the first paragraph. Uh, when I typed it, it should be failure instead of future. Oh. So if okay. the clerk could just take notice of that. Sure, I'll take care of that. Sorry about that. No worries. Okay. Uh, any discussion? This is a program, as you had heard, that the county has adopted. Um, they have been working side by side with school districts. Um, there are people, there's three or four that are in charge of this program. Um, Dover schools being 
uh, in contract with a bus company. It took just a little different route, and but they did accept it. And again, other towns have questioned uh, um, taking this on by opting in or opting out. I do believe a town to the north opted out for whatever reason, um, but this does bring some sort of revenue. What the statistics do prove with the paperwork that was sent to me, though, is out of all cases that have, out of all uh, people that are found to do this, which is driving through the red lights is what it is, um, about 4% of all people accused actually fight it. So it's, I don't see where some of the towns saying it would be too busy, but that's their own opinion. Um, this is being read tonight. Uh, Dover schools did opt in in the program. Council, anything else? Did I miss anything? Nope. Okay. Any other discussion? Seeing no further discussion, all in favor of accepting this resolution with the change? Uh, aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Thank you. Resolution declaring Parkinson's Awareness Month. Proclamation. Whereas Parkinson disease is a progressive neurological movement disorder of the central nervous system, which has a unique impact on each patient, and whereas, according to the Parkinson's Foundation, the American Parkinson's Disease Association, and the National Institute of Health, there are over one million Americans diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And whereas symptoms include slowness, tremor, difficulty with balance, and speaking, rigidity, cognitive, and memory problems. And whereas although new medications and therapies may enhance life for some, for some time, for people with Parkinson's, more work is needed for a cure. And whereas increased education and research are needed to help find more effective treatments with, fever, with fewer side effects and ultimately a cure for Parkinson's disease. And whereas the multidisciplinary approach to Parkinson's disease, Parkinson's disease care includes local wellness, support, and caregiver groups. Whereas April has been proclaimed as Worldwide Parkinson's Awareness Month for all to recognize the need for more research and help dealing with this devastating effects of Parkinson's disease. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Dover does hereby proclaim April as Parkinson's Awareness Month in the town of Dover. Given under my hand in these free United States in the town of Dover on this 30th day of March of 2022 and to which I have caused the seal of the town of Dover to be affixed and have made this proclamation public. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by House, seconded by Maluda. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Resolution authorizing NAMI to hang ribbons and banners. Whereas May is National Mental Health Awareness Month, and whereas the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, has requested permission to hang ribbons and banners in the town of Dover to commemorate National Mental Health Awareness Month. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of Dover hereby authorizes NAMI to buy ribbons and banners in the town of Dover and the Town of Dover hereby proclaims the month of May as Mental Health Awareness Month. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Jackson, seconded by Murphy. Discussion. Um, there was a request, which we're still looking into, uh, both logistics and liability-wise, of a memory garden. Am I right, correct? Correct. Madam Clerk? Yes. Um, we're still looking into that. Um, so. It's just a plan that we haven't truly put together yet. So in case anybody is wondering if they've heard about the same thing, that's where we're at with that. Any other discussion? Seeing no other discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Resolution authorizing advertising for bus service RFPs. 
Whereas the Town of Dover Recreation Department is in need of requests for proposals, RFPs, for bus service for 2022. Now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover hereby authorizes the Town Clerk to publish advertisements for RFPs for 2022 Recreation Department bus service in the Town of Dover and the official newspaper of the Town of Dover. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Brought by Murphy, seconded by... Maluda, any discussion? Julie, how many do you do we think that we're going to have this year? Three. Events that we're going to need buses? Three, camp. Just for the camp? Mm -hmm. Okay. No senior trips as of yet? We do have some, but right now they're not local enough to use them. But they'll, they'll come up. Okay. <laughs> any other discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Resolution authorizing supervisor to, acute, to execute IT needs assessment and strategic plan agreement. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover hereby authorize the Town Supervisor to execute an IT needs assessment and strategic plan agreement with Northeast Computer Services to assist the Town of Dover in creating a five-year municipal IT improvement plan at the cost of $4,875. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by House, seconded by Maluda. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. I'm sorry, Madam Clerk. Did you have anything on that one to say? You're good? No, I'm good. Okay. Resolution authorizing submission of 2022 Dutchess County Municipal Investment Grant, MIG, applications. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover hereby authorize the submission of the 2022 Dutchess County Municipal Investment Grant MIG application and be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover does hereby authorize the Town Supervisor and the Town Clerk to execute all necessary and required paperwork in connection with the MIG application. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Jackson, seconded by Maluda. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. Resolution authorizing the purchase of batting cages for Thomas Boyce Park from Parks Capital Reserve Account. Whereas the Town of Dover Recreation Commission has approved the purchase of batting cages at Boyce Park in the amount of $2,952.03 to be paid from the Parks Capital Reserve. And now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board of Dover hereby authorizes the purchase of batting cages for Boyce Park from BSN Sports LLC off of New York State contract in the amount of $2,952.03. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Murphy and seconded by House. Any discussion? Nice. Very nice. Much needed. We definitely had, we had cages like, hey, years definitely. ago. and Right? Yeah, I was the one that took them down the West. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, break them, take them down? No, it, uh, it, the weather. Well, good, you can put these ones up. Now yeah. we got to put these up. So. You're used to it. So I'm not doing it. I'm not any, doing it. <laughs> any other discussion? Anything for the kids. That's the yep. way I look at it. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Just do from the floor. Got our helmet. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, uh, it did not make the agenda, and we're just going to kind of do this one from the floor. Um, at uh, the JH Ketchum. I miss uh, it. Go ahead. You missing one? This one we didn't do the Where? Green Energy Community Grant. Uh, here. It's the last one. Would you have a, I don't have a paper copy somewhere? Uh, I'll read it from here. Is it on here? 
No, no, it's a blank page. Fill you in. You want me to fill you in? Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry, it didn't print out. Oh, that that's okay. So, the town completed clean energy communities designation back in November. It required us to complete four high impact actions, which included achieving climate smart community certification, upgrading our uh, street lights in our street light districts to LED fixtures. It um, also included us installing a public electric charging electric vehicle charging station. And then recently we also adopted the unified solar permit. These are major um, clean energy projects that that led us to this designation. And so we received a 5,000 unrestricted grant from NYSERDA. So we're proposing in this resolution that we utilize those funds towards upgrade of, upgrade of some of our interior lights, as you can see perhaps in this room. Some of them are a nice, clean, bright light, and some of them are more amber color, which means that they're the older version and not the energy efficient ones. So with the $5,000, we can help defray increasing the energy efficiency of this building and then in turn lowering the energy cost. So it's $5,000 that you've earned for the designation with the idea that you'll reinvest it here in the building and save, continue to save energy money. Just one more grant that we have been successfully uh, receiving for the last couple of years. Thank you very much, Katie Palmer House. Mm -hmm. Well, that's yeah, that's going to make everything look what, a little What more do we need to accept that? For make a motion make a motion. Yeah. I make a motion that we authorize the expenditures of the $5,000 grant money for interior lighting here at the town hall. Good. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion? Yeah, that's going to, what's that, that's going to do is going to make everything more uniform. It's, I'm an electrician, so I look up, not many people look up, they just look at the light and, but you see that it's mismatched lighting and this is going to be clean, nice, energy efficient and beautiful. Any other discussion? Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. One more that we have to make from the floor here. Um, at the J.H. Mm -hmm. Ketchum uh, Community Center, uh, the front where there's plans for the back of the building um, for a, a, a new uh, addition to the structure there so uh, we're not kind of tackling the back of the building but on the front of the building uh, it is in desperate need of some sort of gutter system uh, for the front uh, the way that it's kind of set right now it unfortunately the the water is kind of hitting where the blacktop is and just kind of making the the entry to that building a little bit unsafe in that we're just having to really kind of just salt kind of having to oversalt in that area. Uh, moral of the story is it's just kind of infrastructure. It is what it is. It, the front of the building needs a gutter. Uh, two quotes were received. Uh, gutter Tech of Fishgill, uh, out of Fishgill, New York, uh, was the lowest uh, of the two quotes. Uh, so I would just make a motion from the floor uh, to accept the quote for $750 for a new six-inch uh, gutter uh, installed by Gutter Tech at J.H. Ketchum Community Center with a four-inch round downspout. So uh, if I can have a... I'll second. Second. Yep. Uh, and uh, we any have discussion a... on that? I mean, pretty straightforward stuff. It's needed. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Carried. Thank you. With that, any other public comments at this point in time? Go ahead. Hi, Jennifer again. I just want to leave here tonight making sure that I'm clear on a, a pathway forward. Um, you know, I, along with almost 600 residents, have some concerns with potential projects, whether they be on paper or just chatter in the community. And I'm curious, maybe you could point me in the right direction as to who I could speak with on um, how we would go about considering a moratorium on other energy infrastructure projects in the community outside of the solar one that was discussed tonight. Is there a legal route, Council, or is it just a letter of request for us to consider it? Yeah, just a letter of request. 
So just a letter of request sent yep. to the Dover Town yep. requesting it. Uh, you can put okay. attention to Dover Town Board. Okay. And then what would the next step be? Would it be put on an agenda for a future meeting? How, how, how does that go from there? We would entertain it. We mm -hmm. would look into it, research it, and then probably call you back for discussion. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much for that yep, information. Absolutely. Anybody else with public comments? Seeing no other comments at this point in time, our upcoming meetings are Wednesday, April 27th, May the 25th, and June the 29th. And I would also like to make a motion at this point in time to ex enter into an executive session to discuss some litigation issues and personnel issues. Do I have a second? Second. That, I'm sorry. That motion will be enter into an executive session without returning out here to the dais. So that would be the end of the meeting. Is that okay? Good. Motion's made and second to enter into executive session and not to return. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you being here tonight. I've been the